In many professions, superstitions hold a significant place in people's lives, shaping how they conduct their daily activities. From a baseball player's pre-pitch ritual to the theater's break a leg instead of good luck, these traditions are deeply ingrained. The world of deadliest catch is no different, with crew members on board their vessels in the Bering Sea adhering to various superstitions that influence their operations. Deadliest Catch has been captivating audiences for 20 seasons since its debut in 2005. The show documents the perilous journey of fishing vessels braving the rough waters as crews race to meet their quotas. With its cast of colorful personalities, Deadliest Catch brings to life the intricate details of their profession, including the superstitions they uphold. Throughout its 20 seasons, Deadliest Catch has showcased the intense and dangerous world of commercial fishing. Crew members, from seasoned captains to greenhorns, often rely on long-standing superstitions to guide their journeys. Many of these traditions have been part of fishing lore for generations, evolving as anglers traveled far and wide. For instance, Scottish tradition suggests drinking whiskey after preparing the gear, believed to bring good luck or at least ensure a good time. Another tradition involves throwing a man overboard to attract fish, supposedly alerting them to something in the water and drawing them closer to the vessel. Pineapples have been a symbol of hospitality and good luck for fishermen, dating back to trade ships from New England to the Caribbean and South America. The most notorious fishing superstition. Among the many superstitions, the most infamous is the prohibition of bananas on board. Bananas are thought to bring bad luck, bad weather, or problems on the ship, possibly due to the risk of bringing venomous spiders aboard. Similarly, having a black bag on board is considered bad luck, reminiscent of a body bag. This extends to briefcases, suitcases, backpacks, and more. Whistling while fishing is believed to bring bad weather, referred to as whistling up a gale. Just as theater actors say, break a leg instead of good luck. Wishing someone good luck on a boat is said to bring misfortune to both parties. These superstitions are taken seriously by many in Deadliest Catch. Superstitions Among Deadliest Catch Stars Several Deadliest Catch stars strictly adhere to these superstitions. Captain Sighansen believes it's good luck to bite the head off a herring and ensures that no hatches are upside down. Some crews burn a barrel before a stressful voyage, a rowdy way to wish for good luck without uttering the cursed words. Captains Jonathan and Andy Hillstrand of the Time Bandit follow their own unique practices, sometimes experiencing bad luck when they don't adhere to certain rituals. Captain Keith Colburn has been involved in traditions and superstitions from a young age. He insists on having all cups facing forward, never opening any item upside down, and heading north until no other boat is visible on the horizon. Some crew members avoid stressing, seeing it as a form of overconfidence. Captain Six states, on our boat, if you talked about having a good season before I leave, I'm gonna get you. I don't like it. And when the guys get cocky and start talking about how much money they're gonna make or that it's so good, to me, that's bad luck. The superstitions and traditions showcased on Deadliest Catch help humanize the characters beyond their grueling professions, allowing viewers to connect with them on a personal level. These quirks and nuances make the crew members more relatable and endearing to the audience who might also have their own superstitions. By bringing these traditions to the screen, Deadliest Catch offers a glimpse into the unseen aspects of life at sea, adding depth and authenticity to the stories of its dedicated and daring cast.